Hey everyone, if you're new here, my name's Rosie and this is a day in my life as an archaeological science research assistant at Cambridge. Take my hand and hold it tight. I usually start my day between half seven and eight depending on how tired I am or how much I have to sort before leaving for work. That day I had to get my gym stuff ready and also feed the cats so I was up earlier rather than later. And I did even try to be organised and make breakfast the night before but I got the consistency of my overnight oats so wrong that they were just awful. Awful. <laughs> oh God. Here's me posing awkwardly in my Oxford puffer because I didn't have any other coat with me at the time. And to be honest, I'd do it again. But, but <laughs> turns out I was actually five minutes early on my bike and physically cannot cycle fast. So maybe it was a glitch in the matrix, who knows? Once I got to work, I fastened my bike up and attempted to fix my helmet hair before facing a department full of Cambridge academics. This is my office. D don't be fooled, I am not important enough to get my own office. No one else here was in that day. I let in some fresh air because it's always boiling and then got on with work for the day. First task of the day was to just load up some references that I'd been collating in tarot. And if you want a full video on how I use the tarot, then do let me know in the comments because it's been genuinely life-changing for me, like in research. And if I had this when I was doing my undergrad and my masters, wow, it would have been so much easier. Next, I checked and responded to my emails. I had a little eczema meltdown, but is it really a rosy video without a little eczema meltdown? And set a tree on forest to help me get my brain properly in work mode. Oh, would you look at that fancy setup? She's a tech wizard, ladies and gentlemen. I used to laugh at people with this sort of setup because it seems so unnecessary. But guys, 97 tabs across three screens is so much easier to navigate than 97 tabs on one screen. Yeah, I'm aware that the tabs might actually be the real problem here. Oh, here's me looking confused. Here's me looking confused again. And again. I must be doing maths. Oh! Oh, she finally got it! Alright, calm down, love. I set myself another tree to keep working and I appear to have failed. But never fear, people, because you can just cheat. No. <laughs> oh, I forgot all about that. That is pure karma. That is, turns out, I had trouser leg in my sock all morning. Only one of them as well, from my bike. But I'd literally been like this all morning around the whole department, making coffee, using the toilet, speaking to people. I don't want to talk about it. Anyway, lunchtime arrived and I watched a seminar whilst I ate, which was really interesting. And once I'd eaten, I kept watching, but continued finding useful references for a lit review essay that I was writing. And once I had finished with my referencing kind of block of the day, I decided to chill with the big boys and download R because I will have to use it to make figures in the future and I had never used it before. I'm still terrible at it and I'm not ashamed to admit it. It's hell in there. It's horror. Oh, look at her with her new book. That's so cute. So optimistic. Bless her. Oh. I did try for a good two hours that afternoon doing different exercises in the book. And it's a decent book, you know, with very close step by step instructions. Okay, are we ready for more utter confusion? Because that's literally all this next clip is. And then it was time for a break, aka my brain couldn't take any more, as I think is quite apparent from this clip. I decided to head to Starbucks for an iced latte and then went to Downing College to just sit and chill with it for a bit because it's right next to my department. Downing was genuinely stunning and very peaceful, so I stayed a bit longer and uploaded a social media post for my ERC-funded project, Reverse Action. 
I also then added alternative captions to the post on both Instagram and Twitter because I'd made infographics which essentially means that they weren't readable by screen readers which I didn't realise before. So if you guys didn't know that either, now you do, you can add alternative text using alternative text features on the app or add image descriptions in the captions to make them screen readable and therefore accessible. Then I went back to doing R until 5pm when my workday ended and because I had a gym class in the town centre and couldn't be bothered cycling home and back out again, I went to the central library to do some of my own research until I had to leave for the gym. Gym class was great, I did circuits and then went home to feed these two very hungry boys. Had a shower, heated up some leftover lentil surprise, the surprise being that I make it with new ingredients every time, so I never know what it's going to taste like, and this time it was too spicy. Too late yet anyway. I didn't really do any more that evening apart from watch TV, and actually I did nip to Aldi for some bits and bobs. Anyway, that was my day. I hope you enjoyed. I know I don't usually do voiceover only videos, but I thought it would be fun to try, so do let me know what you think. And also send me any requests for future videos in the comments. Thank you for watching, guys. I will see you tomorrow, actually. Wow, look at me go. Bye, guys. <laughs>